Preparing images for uncoated paper needs some special tricks, and that's because the color space of uncoated paper is slightly smaller. That means that uh, full colors when printed are less vivid than when they are printed on coated paper. Also, blacks, dark tones when printed are less uh, dark. We could simulate that using the Photoshop Curves tool by making the blacks a bit less black and adding into midtones slightly dot cane because dot cane is higher on uncoated papers and the effect is roughly like that. Now of course uh, in real life you don't do simulations with curves but using color profiles. So let's check we do have the correct color settings here. No we don't. Uh, let's have more options and uh, pick first Europe Prepress 2. As you see, this comes with a coded for a 277 profile, which definitely isn't the right one. Here is also a uncoded profile from uh, Adobe, but I would suggest another one, which is uh, listed uh, here and has GCR bus in its name. That's because this profile has uh, less of total ink meaning there is less ink on paper, it dries better, it's uh, much easier in post-processing. Where to get the profile from? I have assembled all of the profiles I do suggest into FTP Uniprint EU slash ICC. You can download it from here. Here is also the readme file which lists the typical uses of the profiles and uh, instructions for installing that on your uh, system. Now, as I said, also dot gain is higher. This means that uh, we could put here 20% dot gain just in case we happen to be working also with grayscale images. And okay, now let's uh, try to work with another image. Uh, first, as we saw, the colors will be uh, less vivid. And to be able to correctly correct this image, I do suggest we go into the view. Here is the proof setup and possibility to set up custom color proofing situation. And the profile is already the correct one. And we can just turn on the simulate paper color. And the effect is like that. Why is that? That's because uh, usually Photoshop uh, expands the color space uh, of our uh, image and tries to fit that into the color space of our monitor, meaning the paper white becomes the monitor white, paper black becomes the monitor black. But uh, while this is very nice to see, in actually we don't see uh, how much uh, additional boost this image uh, needs. Now, here's one more trick. When doing color separations for uncoded papers, I do suggest that instead of uh, the default relative color metric, metric intent, we do use perceptual. The difference is slight but visible. What happens is that the colors become slightly lighter and at the same time more vivid. That's because perceptual does exactly, exactly that. It allows the color conversion formula in Photoshop to make colors lighter if it gets a better color match. And especially on uh, uncoated and newsprint papers, uh, this does uh, give very good results, at least in, in my eye and a lot of uh, people to whom I have shown this uh, trick. Now that we do see how the picture will look, we could uh, do some additional processing. Let's say uh, we do just uh, add some saturation. I'm not sure this is the correct thing for this image, but just to show the point that uh, now that we do see the image gets darker, we can add more color to it. Okay, and now we are ready to go with this image to the CMYK to the color separation. For that we need to pick Convert to Profile. I always suggest using Convert to Profile, not Image Mode, 
because when we are using converter profile we are always shown the full dialog uh, with all of the profile data and so on and we can check that before we do the conversion so the profile is correct intent is perfect per perceptual go and now of course once more we can go into the proof setup and see that it turned out as we expected the only difference this time is that uh, when we are viewing the cmyk imi k images we need to preserve the cmyk numbers otherwise uh, photoshop will try to re-separate it for uh, displaying so let's say that uh, this image is uh, pretty nice for going to print unfortunately there are situations where you do have already image in uh, cmyk and you need to repurpose that for uh, uncoated uh, paper again i can't suggest you any other way than actually going from this, this cmyk into rgb and let's do it like edit uh, uh, convert to profile and i do pick the adobe rgb profile uh, because the size of this uh, color space is similar to the one which I'm uh, to the profile of the coated uh, paper but I do hear the relative color metric uh, conversion because doing uh, conversions using uh, perceptual can change the lightness of the image as we saw okay now we are in RGB and we can go the same path just proof setup using the profile simulating in color doing the adjustment to give it a bit more of saturation and okay and edit convert profile to the uncoated profile this time with the perceptual and again we can go into proof setup custom and make sure we are seeing the same thing here so these were the small tricks that you need to use to get your uncoated images perform much better